to adore. He's a funny, funny, funny person, and he's one of a really, really good friends of mine. Biggie Boom! Yeah, we got, see, I gotta tell you guys, Peach Street Revival is in the house, and I, I don't ever get starstruck, really, because, you know, we're all, like, friends, but these guys make me feel a little weird. I'm a little nervous, let's be real. I get nervous around him a little bit, too. Okay, here we go. So, I haven't, I wasn't around last week. Hey, if, if any, of you, any of you have heard my comedy before, can you please just... Clap your hands so I know. That sucks, because I was hoping I could tell some jokes that no one's ever heard. Ah, shit. So I've been gone, uh, like I said, I've been kind of laying low the last couple weeks. I, I haven't had a good month. Really, I, uh, I kind of been, I've been nursing a broken nose. Yeah, I broke my nose in two places. Uh, cruisers and Quincy's. <laughs> It's rough, folks. It's rough. I get, both of them were after both of these. Both times I got my nose broke were after open mics where I was doing comedy. I guess they didn't like the god jokes. Oh. I know, I know, right? Hey, we're we're gonna go there tonight. Yeah. This is the last time I'm gonna do comedy for you guys at Charlie Brownton's for a few weeks. I need to focus on making jewelry, guys. I'm Baby Boom Jewelry of the Stars. I make jewelry for I make jewelry for these guys. I make jewelry for a lot of artists in our community and I've been spending so much wasting so much time trying to make funny jokes that people don't really always laugh like at. I gotta do what I do and I do jewelry so I'm gonna try to this is I'm gonna take a little break, a hiatus if you will, and focus on jewelry. Uh, you can do that, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No but uh, you guys will probably think this it doesn't sound right. This dude's a big dude and he's getting this he's getting his nose broke. It doesn't make any sense because I'm a big guy, you know what I mean? I'm saying every dog has his day. Every, there's always, you can't beat up the world, people. There's always a bigger dude out there. But there was a time that this dog had, you guys want to hear the story about the time this dog had his day? Yeah! yeah. The time that I, that I uh, knocked out those two green berets? Oh, yeah. yeah, out at the Clifton City Market, right out in front. Man, it escalated so quick. First, the first green beret attacked me from the left. I did a roundhouse kick right to the temple. Out cold. The second green beret attacked from the right. I did the double uh, defibrillator punch, you know, like, like on the cartoons. It worked out like a light. All because I didn't want to buy the damn cookies. Oh. <laughs> or hear their stupid stories or donate to their stupid camping trip. <laughs> I just needed to pick up some milk. <laughs> My sister, she used to sell uh, those cookies, she'd keep them in a big box. And me and my little brother would sneak in her box and eat. Wait, that, that didn't sound good. Let's move on to the next joke, folks. Hey! My little brother, though, I have four brothers. And my favorite little brother is my closest brother, my brother Pablo. And we're always so competitive, man. We're always competing over everything, you know what it's like? But I always kind of have the advantage, you know? It was like, who can run the fastest? I win, Pablo. Who can uh, pee their whole name on the driveway? I win, Pablo. <laughs> who can hit who in the back with the wrench, the giant wrench the hardest? I win, Pablo. <laughs> who can poop their singlet on the first day of wrestling practice? He, he won that one. <laughs> but we're always so competitive, we love basketball. We had the ghetto basketball hoop in the back, you know, the milk crate with the bottom broke out. Nailed to the back of the garage. Oh man, we had some battles back there, man. I remember this one time I came back from college. I was probably like freshman year in college. I came back for like one of the breaks, fall break, I think. And we were back there having a battle, man. And at the very last seconds, I did a super slam dunk right on his head. Boom! I broke the box right on his head, split his head open. I'm like, I was so in the moment, I was like, I win, Pablo! He's holding his head. You're gonna be in fifth grade next year. Aww. Be stronger than your excuses. <laughs> what I don't understand is you went to college? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in my freshman year.
Thank you. You guys would be, actually, you know what? You guys would be surprised to know I have a master's in psychology. I do. I mean, yeah! I'm not, I'm not surprised yeah. at all. Look where I'm at, right? I'm over here on Thursday night at Charlie Bones and someone's all my fellow friends. Yeah! When I was a kid, I, uh, me and my brother, man, we wanted to be cowboys for Halloween. And then my mom, she told, started telling us about all the bad things that the cowboys did to the Indians. Well, then we wanted to be cowboy killers. I was a Marble Red for Halloween. <laughs> my brother was a bottle of Jack Daniels. <laughs> Cowboy killer. <laughs> you know what I learned about Halloween was there's one I cannot be, there's one person thing I cannot be for Halloween. I know this personal experience. I cannot be Axel Rose for Halloween. I can't. I mean, imagine me with a, a headband, wire rim glasses. A Levi jacket with the sleeves cut off. I really just think I'm Chong. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, Pablo Escobar at a 70s party. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, look. Yeah. Yeah. Pablo Escobar kind of look. Before he got busted or killed, like, oh my god. No, but comedy's fun, man. I, uh, I get to go around and do like show different places. Do you guys hear about that time I did that show in Idaho? where all the white pride dudes were outside causing a wreckage during my show. Yeah, after the show I was leaving and all the white pride white dudes were out there and the leader walked up to me and he says, uh, he goes, What the hell you doing in our town? You don't need a black, white people. And I said, well, I like white girls. They're people. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> I thought he wanted to fight me. I, I, really. I guess he didn't hear about the things I did to those Green Berets. <laughs> All right, I'm Benny Boom. I'm out of here. <laughs>